Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. In this video, we are going to understand the need of creating a date table within Power BI. Yes, so we know that uh, we while creating or while working with uh, several logics within Power BI, there might be a need where we would need to uh, model the data by using different tables. So now it is also important to have a date table when we need to create a date time intelligence functions for further insights to uh, bring in within our data set. So in this video, we are going to understand all the reads and like uh, why it is important to have a separate date table being created and how is it different when we create that in Power BI and if we do get that from the data source itself. So without any delay, let's get into the discussion part. So what is a date dimension? So a date dimension is useful for different scenarios. So when we need to slice and dice with respect to a date field, such as a week number or a quarter or a year or a day, right? So you can have that date dimension being introduced within your data set to help you progress with your uh, data analysis. Or if you need to do an analysis based on a uh, probably a weekdays or a public holidays, right? So in that scenario also, you might need to have a day dimension as a separate field. So these two, uh, so these are like uh, different scenarios where it is probably an important to have the date dimension being considered separately. Now, why it is important to have this date uh, fields separately as a table? Yes, it is important to have this date table separately because when we do bring in the data from the original data source, right? So. Uh, it, it might have, uh, so you might need to rely on the ETL jobs too in order to have that updated data being uh, loaded in your corresponding uh, table. And uh, it would also add a lot of, uh, um, you know, like, uh, so for example, if your date table has the data set or the date values ranging from uh, 10 years of data, right? So every year you might have like a 365 records because every year has like 365 days. So probably if your data is stored on a day wise or granularity, then this data would be aggregated to 365 records of data. And probably if it is a leap year, that would go to 366 records. Now, um, this might be uh, so the number of rows might be less when you take it just for a specific year like for one year it is fine that you have only 365 rows of data now imagine if your data needs to be uh, evaluated for 10 years of data or probably uh, 15 years of data now this data would then be uh, exponentially grown because every year if it has to be for 10 years of data then you have to multiply that 365 by uh, 10 years and therefore you would have around 3000 or 36500 rows of data for 100 years or 3650 rows of data approximately for 10 years of data so therefore the the data would be exponentially grown and that would rely on a lot of implications later on so usually this date dimension would normally be loaded once and would be used several times within your uh, data analysis so therefore um, it is not needed to uh, load this on a frequent basis right so what we can do instead is if we can have this date table separately being created within power bi you have that uh, um, ease to uh, reduce that particular complexity uh, as per your requirements of the data okay so let's try to understand how you can actually create a date table within power bi so we have two powerful functions or two powerful dax functions that have been provided with power bi desktop the one is the calendar function the other one is the calendar auto function so we will try to understand what is the difference between either of them and when to use which one okay so without any delay let's go into the demo part now so i will first go to the modeling part or the data uh, data view and uh, since uh, the calendar table is something that would return a table we would like to create a new table 
okay so i'll just hit on this new table and i'll give a name as calendar and i will write this uh, formula as calendar which is my function which would help me to generate a table with a list of different date values within that now when i use this calendar function it has two parameters within this uh, expression the first parameter is the start date followed by the end date now what is that uh, that we can produce within my parameter values so for the start date uh, i would use another function called date because here i'm trying to give a custom date values so therefore in order to convert that particular uh, uh, year uh, or that particular date into a date field i'm using this other expression called date so when you add this date it would convert that given uh, value into a date field and on top of that we are uh, specifying the range of that calendar to be created for our requirement okay so here as you see the uh, expression for the state function is that first we would need to give the year so i'll give 2022 followed by the month which is september followed by the date so i'll give one so that is my start date and then followed by the end date is again date of 2022 uh, september and 30 okay so now i'll hit on enter and that has automatically created the date table uh, with the range of my start date and the end date yes so the calendar function would always include the two dates given within that particular expression so these two values are always inclusive so it would always have the start date from the start date until the end date so if you scroll through the list of dates right so you see the last date value is september 30 2022 and this is also giving with a date timestamp value okay so this is how you can quickly and easily create a calendar or a date table within power bi okay now let's try to consider another scenario so here i have start uh, i have provided my start and my end dates as a static values so what if if i wanted to make this as a dynamic instead of creating that with a static values i would like to create that based on a dynamic values now how do i transform this into a dynamic so you can use something like um okay let's try to create another one or probably i'll just remove this okay okay so now let's try to add a okay before that i'll just uh, zoom in this particular uh, okay so i hope you would be able to see this uh, function or the formula bar more easily now in order to add this dynamic part what i'd like to do is um so i'll just uh, shift and enter so that it goes to my uh, next line so in order to go to the next line within my dax function or in my formula bar I can use my shift and enter so that it goes to my second line of my current row. Okay, so here I would use my today function. So today is uh, something which would, uh, which is equivalent to your system date or your uh, current date. So today function would always returns you your current date based on your system date. So since my current date is September 3rd, it would return me that September 3rd, 2022 as my today date value. Now based on today, I'd like to consider the start date as previous year and next year. Sorry. Shift and enter again. And here I would use again today and next year. Okay. And then i'll hit on enter okay so now if you notice it is taking a uh, based on my current date so my current date is september 3rd 2022 so based on my current day i would like to get the previous year because i'm doing minus 365 so if i do a minus 365 it would go to my previous year which is my 2021 and that would come 
or that would begin from my current date so since it is september 3rd my start date is also september 3rd 2021 okay exactly the same date and what is my end date so until when the, should this be uh, uh, the date field should be evaluated or it should be created until my next year uh, based on my current date until next year same date so if i just scroll through my uh, list of uh, date uh, values okay so you see the last date is september 3rd 2023 okay so this is how you can also create something like a, uh, a relative date kind of a, a dynamic uh, date range being created based on my today function all right so this is another way of creating it okay now let's assume that okay uh, i do not want to create uh, based on my current date or probably i would like to uh, have the list of dates being created based on a specific date field that i already have within my table so then how do i create a table out of that particular uh, date dimension okay so let's try to create that as well okay so to repeat uh, our scenario here so here i've taken the orders table right so within my orders table i have a date field which is my order date so now based on my order date list of date values i would like to create a table from that particular range like from the start value of my order date uh, dimension until my last date within my order date column so that's how it should uh, calculate my table for my date table so how do we specify that so for that let me uh, go to my other raw line okay now for that how do we do that so you can use the min of order date okay comma and max of order date and let's try to hit on enter all right so now if you notice the based on my order date dimension it is trying to create a range of values within that particular short table so starting from the start value of my order date column until my last date that i have within my order date column it has created that date table uh, with this particular simple expression okay so in this way we are able to create uh, date table within power bi with just a simple expressions being considered okay so this is all about a calendar function now let's try to understand what is a calendar auto function and how do we use it so for that i will quickly uh, remove these two and uh, okay now let's try to have this calendar auto Just remove this okay now i'll use this calendar auto function now if you notice here the calendar auto is giving just one parameter within that particular rough function which is my fiscal year end month okay and it also has illustrated something below that function which says that it returns a table with just one column of dates calculated from the model automatically okay now let's try to understand with this fiscal year end month okay so firstly i'll just create this table without specifying any value within that particular function and we'll see how if power bi is able to create a date table automatically see it has created the table automatically now how is this uh, 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 how is this evaluating that particular table values so if you do not set the start and end date within my calendar auto function, then it would consider based on the minimum date value in your respective data model and the maximum date value in that particular data model. So here, since I have my orders table, within my orders table, the min and the max dates are from my uh, Jan 1st, 2018 till 31st December. 
okay so this is how it has created this uh, date table being created on my uh, uh, data set okay so now let's try to understand if i have to use a fiscal year so the fiscal year start month is an optional parameter like i did mention earlier so if you do not say that it will always use the calendar year instead and starts in january and ends in december okay so for example uh, if your uh, uh, organization fiscal year is different to that of january to december uh, year calendar and if you need to have that customized according to your own business uh, calendar year or fiscal year then you can make use of this fiscal year um, parameter being inserted within this particular function okay so assuming that um, you wanted to do a fiscal calendar considering first of july would be your first day of the fiscal year okay so randomly i'm just saying if your first day of your calendar should begin from first of july so that's your physical calendar then how do you specify that within this particular expression so in that case you would need to insert the value as six so remember the optional parameter here is your fix your uh, end month so you need to specify when is the end month right so I'm saying that June is my end month and consider the values from July 1st as the beginning of the fiscal year. And therefore, I've specified this as 6 year. So, 6 is like June. So, until June, it is the last uh, month of that year. And I would like to use July 1st as the first day of my fiscal year. So, therefore, when you use this, right, see, so from 1st of July, the dates have been spanned across my table. So this is how you can customize your calendar dates according to your business fiscal year requirement as well. Okay, so I hope you understood how you can make use of the calendar and calendar auto functions within Power BI to quickly create a date table within Power BI desktop for your time intelligence calculations or to slice and dice based on different uh, date uh, parameters that is needed for your raw data uh, analysis so if you do like about this video please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit on the bell icon for notification see you again with next video thank you